Online attack of the Federal Reserve Fed officials tell Fox Business that an internal site was breached by hackers. They say it was a brief attack, and while some information was obtained by the hackers, they were not able to hurt the critical operations of the Federal Reserve. The Fed is just the latest target in a string of online attacks. Why is this happening? Should we have better security? Time for Lou Dobbs now. Well, it goes back to 2011. Uh, the Obama administration, uh, the Defense Department announced very clearly there had been so many attacks at that point. Uh, you may recall this, that they announced that they have the right to, uh, to move forward as, as if it were an act of war, any cyber attack against U.S. interests. And now it's become routine. Think about this. We're getting a quarter of a million attacks against government facilities every day. Big business doesn't even report them. Uh, we have a story like this today in which the Federal Reserve was hacked, uh, presumably by a number of groups, including Anonymous. But it should be very, very disconcerting, I think, to all Americans that we don't know who is carrying out these attacks. We know, in general, that the People's Republic of China carries out the largest number of attacks from mainland China against U.S. interests. Uh, mainland China and the, the, the People's uh, uh, Republic there uh, managed to carry out uh, also 3,500 front organizations in this country specifically to hack, to uh, acquire, to steal, however you want to say it, military uh, secrets, uh, technology, most advanced technology. And the pattern now, there's a template for our government, if you've noticed, and big business and big banks, all of which, by the way, have been the victims of uh, cyber attacks, they say, well, you know, nothing very much was, you know, taken from us. Uh, we don't know who did it, uh, but rest assured it was a temporary problem and has since been fixed, mm -hmm. and yet it is repeated by the day. Do you think these cyber attacks are escalating towards something bigger and much more of a crisis level situation? Because to your point, you mentioned mm -hmm. how many attacks happen every day, yet we're clueless to most of them. Yeah, we, we've got to be very honest about this. When, when the United States Department of Defense, uh, all of our intelligence agencies, does anyone really presume that they will be telling the American people precisely what the nature of the attack was, what uh, was achieved by that attack? Uh, and, and it may be for an intelligence reason that they're not saying who it is uh, in, in each instance, certainly. But we know generally that China is the source of most of them. We know generally that Anonymous, this group protesting uh, uh, as it has over the course of the past years, they can carry out almost, it seems, any attack on any target they want, uh, particularly in business, and do so. Uh, it's, it should be troubling to everyone wherever this is headed, that we don't have the capacity to either stop it or sh shut down those yeah. who are perpetrating those attacks. And we had somebody on recently who was talking about, um, you know, training folks to go in and battle against this. And we don't have enough <laughs> engineers that are trained in this specific field in this country mm -hmm. to really battle back against, yeah. um, against these attacks. And you know what's really peculiar about that, Melissa, is these attacks have been going on for two decades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have people trained in, in the appropriate places? Uh, certainly our banking system, the Federal Reserve, I mean, that's a very serious attack. For it to be successful means they have the capacity, perhaps, to reach out through the entire banking system, the entire financial system, uh, from Wall Street to the smallest community bank, through the Federal Reserve system itself. Uh, deeply troubling. We're, we're vulnerable. Absolutely. Lou Dobbs, thank you so much. You can see Lou here every day at this time. And, of course, at 7 and 10 p.m. Eastern tonight, you can catch Congressman Trey Gowdy, who is a member of the House Judiciary Committee, about the immigration hearing held yesterday and the president's call for Congress to come up with a solution for sequestration set to go into effect in mm -hmm. less than a month. Isn't it interesting? He's he's asking Congress to bail him out. He wasn't even going to negotiate with them yeah. last month. Now he's saying pretty please.